up loud and proud crowd. Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. I had to stay away from the diesels for a minute here because they are warming up for a big, big exciting day. Hopefully you guys are just as excited as I am because we're gonna be sinking the Project Cummins mud truck in some water. Just a few disclaimers really quick. We are waiting on the 35s, so we don't have the 35 inch mud trains in yet. However, I'm hoping with what we're gonna be doing today, that's not necessarily something that we have to have. We are taking the dually as a rescue truck just in case. Why the dually? Because that's the only real truck that's up for the job right now. If I can use a tractor, I will, but I don't know if it's heavy enough. He said it's totally fine if I use a tractor. The only thing is, it might not have enough weight to pull that first gen out of the mud if it is stuck because that suction effect that happens in muck just makes the weight a lot more than it really is. So that is the reason why we're even taking the dually in the first place is just in case, worst case scenario, we actually have to use it to pull the truck out. All that being said, we're gonna take this Cummins mud truck that we've been working on the last handful of days and we're gonna sink it into this mud puddle and hopefully it doesn't get stuck. Now, like I said, we don't have the 35s, therefore, we're not going into any of the deep, deep stuff. Now this is gonna be a fairly deep, deeper than this truck's ever been in before yet, not the white dually, the uh, first gen that's back there. However, it's not what we're trying to actually get done. We're trying to make that truck capable of going in an actually deep, watery, muddy circumstance and be able to get itself out, hopefully without needing pulled out. But we will see today, we're just gonna kinda of do a testing with the tires that are on it, which are kind of wore out, but the fronts have pretty good tread. Hopefully the truck will still have enough grip to at least pull it out of most situations, but we'll find out. Also, in case you guys have forgot, we are giving away this truck. So if you want a chance to win this truck, information is in the description below, but every $15 you spend on Loud and Proud gear, you get to another automatic entry to take this beautiful truck home May 13th. Don't miss out, we are running out of time. Information in the description below. So we have made it to the test spot. And like I said, I don't know how great this is gonna go given that these tires are on like 20% tread life, kind of cheap mud tires, but the new ones are on the way. They're just not here yet. They're gonna be here like tomorrow the day after, but we're gonna be gone. So I'm not gonna be able to get them on the truck. So I wanna get this video made now. We're gonna be sending it through this spot over here. And if you can come over here and show them, these things are so awkward to walk in. I'm just, but I told her, I said, if I don't put them on before I get stuck, once you're already stuck in the truck, you can't hop out with, can't get them on so so here's the mud hole that we're gonna try to go in I'm gonna walk through here just to make sure there's no big logs or something now this ground through here is actually pretty firm because this used to be dry ground and then our dam got all clogged up and so the pond level just started to raise. The pond natural level is over by these bigger trees in the middle between them. Um, but you know, so I'm trying to just figure out the best exit plan. I'm thinking about entering over here and going up that bank. Or what do you think I should do, Reagan? Or do you think I should come down that bank and go up there? Maybe go down that bank since it's not flat yet and this is already flat. It might be easier to crawl out. Yeah, instead of... It might be easier to pull out of the with the truck, too. So, we left the dually over on the clean uh, gravel back there because I'm not wanting to get it dirty if I don't have to. Well, there's um, a little bit of gravel over there, so if the dually has to come, it'll have a little bit well, more... Well, the dually could pull it out from there or over here because there's enough dry ground, but just not, just not in there, obviously. I'm not getting that dually stuck somewhere. So, it's the only truck we had available that's up to the task that'll have enough power to actually rip that thing out no matter where it's at.
So Reagan here is gonna attempt to go through the mud pit as well. What she's actually gonna do is start up from the high spot and come down through the bottom. And after that, we might uh, venture off to find another location. That snorkel kit's working awesome. And so far, none of the way we have it angled on the windshield, all the main mudded water is missing it by about six inches off to the left of it. She always babies the throttle too much. I think she keeps forgetting that this is a play truck. You can hear that intake sucking in air. Like out of the mud and she's still just hammering it. But look, if you look here, almost all the water is missing the intake. It's hitting the side of the truck, but it's flying like right here. Girl! I knew I was gonna be the one that got stuck. You weren't getting stuck. I was telling them, I said, I think she keeps forgetting that this is a play truck. So when she puts it in reverse and drive, you're not understanding that, like, you gotta just hammer it. I was hammering it. The last, like, 45 seconds, you were giving it the beans, girl. It's probably pulling colder air than if it was in the engine bay. I can't even see my letters. I know. The only P logo got all... Dang. I love how the mud just, like, slowly pulling I know. It looks good, though. Now, we gotta find something else. We gotta find another spot. It's, That's... like, watery, but it's not, like, thick mud. Well, it's getting thicker because the more we go through it, the more sloshy it gets. Um, but it's not that bad right now. But you know, it's a nice little 18 inch deep puddle water. But uh, what I want to do next, Reagan, is actually back it down into the river and try to crawl her out. that we're trying to get the truck capable enough to go through. Now in this location, we're trying to get the 35s on the truck to make it through this because I have a feeling either from starting from that side or trying to get all the way to this side or starting from this side to go to that side. Either way, somewhere along the line, we're gonna hit a really slick spot and I don't think these bald 31 inch tires are gonna really do the justice that we need to actually pull through this entire strip here of water. So what I'm gonna do now though is actually just kind of show you how deep it is and I'm gonna back this truck in until the front tires go just down over the rocks there and you're gonna actually see how deep it is at least 
most of the depth. Now we get a little bit deeper off towards the middle, but you're not gonna see that until we actually get some tires that are capable to actually cross all the way through that. But then, this is the complete reason why we're snorkeling a truck and putting the chain on the front just in case and all that stuff, um, because it could get pretty messy. And even like with the snorkel pit now, with the cup fenders, there's a complete open gap to the engine bay. And what I don't want is our tires spinning, throwing water up in and choking up the engine. So that's why we have the snorkel kit. Um, not, you don't have to be in deep water to kill a truck if you have open access to those filters and you throw water right into them. It's just not good. So anyways, we're gonna back it on in there and, and see how deep it is. We're gonna see if the in-cab view is any different for you guys. Probably won't be as enjoyable, but it might be a little more dramatic. It was a good test run guys. That was a test run for the mud truck to see actually roughly what it's capable of as it sits to kind of show you just how capable it should be with the more aggressive and a little bit bigger tires where it can actually grab and go and sling more mud but actually grip to that clay a little bit better that sloshy nasty stuff. So we'll see. We'll see. It'll be fun to find out and see just how capable it is once we get the actual big tires on there but I think it's gonna be able to do a little bit more than you guys think I can honestly say this is the dirtiest I've ever gotten a vehicle and it feels good feels a little bit bad because you know if it were a nice truck I would have just completely degraded the value of it <laughs> by burying it in the mud and creating a lot more to corrode and rust faster unless you clean it off instantaneous but it gets caked in so many cracks and crevices that you'll never be able to fully get it clean I mean, it's just, it's either a mud vehicle or it's not. But, you know, it was a lot of fun and we're still gonna do it again. We just gotta get bigger tires and we're gonna, we're gonna sink this puppy in some freaking water. 
It's gonna be a blast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you guys think of the new type of content of like actually having a mud specific vehicle on the channel as well. So we can do some content like this in between some of the other stuff like what we do with this truck and the new 2019 we're picking up in just the next couple of days here. And then also just, just that type of stuff, but adding some like sheer entertainment to that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do not forget to enter to win this truck. You guys are running out of time. You guys have less than two weeks now, and I think we're down to like the last, I wanna say, 13 days, 12 days maybe left to enter to win this truck and then it is over and this is a one of a kind, beautiful six speed manual, 140,000 mile, 24 valve, not a 53 block, which is the bad block. This is a 55 block, so all sought. I mean, this is like the golden truck. If you want a 24 valve, if you like 24 valves, this is the golden truck to own. So thank you guys so much. Information to win that is in the description below. Leave a like on this video, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.